Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. And Blizz. Welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. Well, I brought Jazz, it's Crescendo and Viola in. Jazz, I gave him the Storm Shroud. Uh, he'll make good use of that. Bubbly Hack, because he needs a little bit more speed. Uh, but I want to give him the Werewolf Choker, and you will see why. Uh, Crescendo, he's got the White Star. Well, that's what we found here. Lek Armor for the defense. It's either that or the Antelope Armor for the HP, but I figure the Lek Armor is so powerful, I might as well give it to him. Crimson Brooch Power Ring for more damage. Uh, let's see. Uh, Viola. She's got the Power Ring and Speed Shoes, obviously. Have her with Night Arrow, just because her offensive skills suck, but whatever. Hawkeye, she'll be using to kind of support, so. And I think I gave everybody's Angel Trumpets back. We're just going to be going back down to the bottom here. Um, I'm going to fight virtually everything along the way. Because I don't want to fight Waltz in this episode. Have we been found? I don't know how well this party's gonna work. I did not intend to do this, but if I do use these three, then I'll have used everybody here. And that'll be kinda cool. Haha! -ha. Come on, Jazz! Get a turn! Uh, let's go after you. Get closer. Or you can hit that guy, too. Alright, Jazz. Show your power! Look at the echoes! <laughs> Haven't you had enough yet? I don't know. Uh, yeah, Jazz can be good. If he was just a little faster, he'd be really good. He's just not. Let's show off Night Arrow. Alright. Uh, see, he's too far for me to get to this time. <laughs> you want more? Well, we made it through. Somehow, we did. Jazz. Yeah, he makes great use of that Werewolf Joker because even though he hits so slow, his attacks hit twice, so he does... Well, you well he gets a ton of hits because of that. He builds a lot of echoes, which he can then use himself. And that hurt like a son of a bitch. Unfortunately, Jazz will never, ever, ever go fast enough to actually do something. No good. Oh, well. With a bubbly hat, he shouldn't get outsped 2 to 1, at least not early on. Unfortunately, eventually he might, but that's alright. The idea is that the battles won't last that long. At least that's my plan. There we go. He's doing pretty good, actually. But if the battle went on too long, he would just be in a lot of trouble. Well, he didn't. Yeah, Viola still does okay. It's just with Harmony Chains, everybody can kind of do the same thing now. So it's like, what's the point of Viola? Too bad he doesn't have Geoblade yet. That's the dark version of Heat Blade, but oh well. He was really good. He won't get it till the post game. Actually, Jazz takes the second longest to learn all of his abilities in the game. Very strange. Well, are you ready or what? Mm, Let's get started. Not really. Jazz probably gonna damage the crap out of these guys, so. <sighs> Good old Viola and her arrows. Oh, can I can get that guy in the foot. He didn't die? Come on, man, really? Alright, let's get this guy. Counter? Yeah! <laughs> you people don't understand! Okay then, Jazz. Yeah, Night Arrow is significantly stronger than Heal Arrow, but it doesn't heal Viola, so... Oh well. I also find it amusing that Viola is the only character that gets a dark version of a light healing move. 
Wow, that was pretty, pretty good. strong. Um, Viola. There you go. She only did that much because Hawkeye was on that guy. And that's the only reason those arrows even hit, by the way. I think. Can we go That down? goes up. We gotta keep going. No, we gotta keep going. Yeah, Hawkeye, you can just hit the circle and the arrows count. Come on. Kind of strange. Yeah, Diamond is way better. The dark version of his uh, crystal, uh, not crystal judgment, um, what's it called? Uh, I guess that'll work. The dark version of Galactic Nebula is really powerful, but he won't get that till level 50. I don't know, is it? The guy in the head, or you can get a crit. And Annihilate Hit him, him in the head. Yeah, there's also headshots in the game for Viola's arrows. It's a weird mechanic. It's kind of like unwritten. The game doesn't tell you about it. They actually buffed her arrows from the 360 version, but they nerfed all the rest of her stats and all of her abilities, so... And they nerfed the crap out of her speed. Almost as slow. Screw you, Viola. You want more? That's hilarious. Makes sense. So you got this? Why do they yawn? <laughs> Always go for counters with Jazz if you're gonna use him. He's got the HP to take a hit, so you might as well. No. We haven't had enough yet. Well, that didn't work so well. Oh god. If I hit that guy, he's gonna take a ton of damage. Don't block Hawkeye. Don't block Hawkeye. Damn you. Oh, Maelstrom's awesome. Maybe because of how he says it. Grant me the power to protect my people. Um... You're strong enough, Crescendo. All right. Viola's still missing one ability, her best light move. Her only good offensive skill in the game, but... The rest of them suck. The rest of them suck. Go in strong. Don't hold anything back. Kinda what I always do, Jazz. Crystal Diamond! You should have retreated. Okay. Viola? <laughs> Still hit him. The noise they make. Get him with heat blade. Did I, I over it? Did. You didn't underdo it. You underdid it. <laughs> I just love the way he says whirlwind. Well, he's dead. Crescendo is surprisingly fast, by the way. Is everyone all right? He's basically Jazz if Jazz was actually effective. Anything can be cut. Uh, I can see that. <laughs> I've never heard him say that. Hey, he got dimensional turn. Which sucks. Which sucks horribly. <laughs> we should show show really it off. Sucks. Just equip it so we can show what it is. Oh God, it's the same thing as that stupid plasma chains. Well, we gotta show it off though. Uh huh. I might be able to get it to actually work. Well, I can hear if I actually get a turn. You don't kill that guy. I, I don't believe me. Oh my god, you're getting turned. Don't kill him. Yeah, he's, not, he's getting a turn because I ambushed them. Ah! The dark move? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Come on! Counter! No. Want me to skip? Yep. I want to show this off. Unfortunately... You, you got him. I couldn't even hear what he said. It's like crouch and claw? I have no idea. What the hell is that? I guess I'll keep it equipped. It's not very... It's hard to use it. 
It's much stronger than Magma Pillar, but it's really hard to use it. I don't like it. Yeah, it's weird that there's a little bit of light in the center there. You should have retreated. Need a counter on that one. Can I get one counter? No. God, your healing is terrible. Yeah, the problem is that it's basically Kudajar knock if Kudajar knock sucked. Because you can't get the back pedal to hit the guy in front of you. Same with, um, I don't know why they do that sometimes. Same with, uh, what's that other one? The light version of it. I, I don't remember what it is. I never use it, so... It also ruins Harmony Chains. I mean, if I got a Harmony Chain there, he would literally barely do anything with the Dimensional Turn. What the hell is the name of the other one? Plasma Chains. What are we on? Floor 3? I think so. Let's just skip some of these guys. We're almost down to the bottom. Almost to the bottom here. Don't be such a crybaby. I'll go back to Magma Pillar in a second here. Figured I'd show it off a little bit. It's just not a very good move. Oh, that's not Jazz. Whoops. I'm not even paying attention. Eh, I won't be able to get that one in. Yeah, even though Magma Pillar is way weaker, it's significantly better. Dead. He's dead too. Is everyone all right? Yes, yeah. we're fine. Thank you. Oh, I want jazz. Yeah, speed stat is really weird in the game. There seems to be a certain point where you kind of have enough speed to where you can function. Wait. Oh, I went the wrong way. I was supposed to just keep going down, I think. I think so. But, so yeah, once Jazz hits like level 70 or so, he'll be able to go without speed boosting equipment. Which will happen in the post game. Well, game levels massively. Yeah. Eventually. You, don't, you won't max your levels, but you'll get pretty close. You can max your levels if you want. There's not much point to doing so. We usually level get we get to like what level eighty or so. Five is is when you learn your last ability. So I think you got ambushed. I don't think so. Any mercy. I didn't get ambushed. Diamant. So once you get that to that level, that's that's enough. He's gonna mess you up. Not unless I block him. Still alive, Jazz. He clearly hasn't. I thought this guy had Hawkeye on him. He did. It goes away when you use a special move that Is hits the enemy. Right? It's like Shadow Silhouette, except mm. it's on the enemy. Mm -hmm. So instead of having everybody with Shadow Silhouette, it's just one person gets to use a skill on it that does a little more damage. Or you could just use regular attacks, and that does not dispel it. This game is over. Hawkeye is one of Viola's only good abilities, so. Huh. 
You paid dearly for that. Yeah, you, you cut an onion, literally. We get it, Jazz. Note to self, don't make French onion soup and have your cat in the room, or else her eyes will turn red. That was funny. Okay, so you can get to the basement from either the west or the east side. Just keep heading down. There actually is one more chest, but... So, if you came down here without activating both towers, there's nothing here. There's just this little purple thing. But once you activate both towers, there's a stairway of sand, which doesn't even begin to make sense, but whatever, it's there. And you go up. Because for some reason you have to go down to, to go get up. up. And I don't know why. In the words of the Ghostbusters, the stairs go up. Alright, yeah, you can get to the top floor. So you get to the top floor. And then you don't fight Waltz with Jazz in your party because that's incredibly stupid. So, yeah, um... The last chest here is a Spade Clover because the game thinks that you will need it for some reason. I would never use it because it costs way too much to put in your item slot. But, uh... One thing I am going to do is change my party and set up for the battle against Waltz again. Well, I guess it's Waltz and Legato. Yeah. Okay, I'm back, and uh, the party I am using is Frederick, March, and Polka, so I've used everybody now. Um, let's heal everybody to full. Not that it really matters, but why not? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Frederick over here... If I can stay in the menu, that would be nice. Got him the gold baton, daybreak cloak for the shining body. Pocket watch werewolf choker because he is going to be doing almost all of my damage. March is in here. Uh, she's got a uh, storm shroud for moving fast. Um, and uh, crimson brooch, tyrant's crown. She needs the tyrant's crown. Her HP is so sad. Uh, but more importantly, yeah, I need full moon bind again or I will probably be annihilated. I want to be able to stop the guy. Alba's Hoop, because it's by far her best weapon so far. And Polka, because I don't want to be utterly annihilated. And I am going to take advantage of her Blossom Shower. She did learn Zodiac. I'm not going to be using it, because she's got the Brilliant Brooch and, and on. Uh, recovery Orb to hopefully keep her alive. Uh, but really, the big thing to making this battle not as utterly mind-blowingly difficult as the first time is Blossom Shower. Uh, if you do not have that, oh boy. Yeah, this fight's even harder than the Mount Rock fight, and the only thing that saves it from being as ludicrously annoying is that you have, uh, hopefully, Phantom Pain and Blossom Shower. At least Blossom Shower. If you don't have that, go get that. Level grind. Do something. Trust me. It'll save your sanity. Uh, also, for items, I forgot to mention, uh, Pure Feathers, because obviously, uh, Waltz has that one attack that can poison us. Harsh Torment, that's what it is. All of his attacks are the same, but they are equally devastating, as always. Angel Trumpets, and I actually ran out of Angel Trumpets, so I had to throw in a Goddess Bouquet. Oh well. Anyway, this is Ryzen. And Blitz. Thanks for watching. Next time, we'll take on Waltz and Legato.